plow life. Today I'm going to uh, show you how I was shown to hook up uh, two batteries in your plow truck. It's in my uh, 07 Ford. I've always ran two batteries in my plow truck just because I'll show you how the wiring sequence go. And this is what uh, intrigued me to do it. It's not just the fact that you have two batteries in your truck because having two batteries in your truck won't make the truck turn over any faster, but you can turn over twice as long, you know, for starting problems or, or whatnot, so. But. Okay. Now, this is just because this is how I did it. It had a single battery holder here. So I took everything out, took the battery holder out, measured it first, made sure I had just enough room to get them both in here. Okay, you put, I put a battery holder, mounted another one here. There's another one back there. Take, you, now when you're all done, the batteries are in here and you're ready to go. You take a hot from one battery, hot to hot, ground to ground, then all your normal stuff that was on here to begin with stays on the first battery. So you would hook your two cables from the truck right to the first battery, period, just like it always was. Then you take your hot and ground to your plow and it goes to the second battery. So you got your two batteries in line, you got your hot to hot, ground to ground, so it charges that battery. And then you got your normal stuff hooked up to this battery and you have just your plow hooked up to the second battery. So when you hit your plow, the hydraulics don't dim and drain that battery because it comes off this one, but it trickle charges it back up. So that's how I was taught to put two batteries in a plow truck. My other truck, which is in the garage, it's a Chevy O2 Silverado. And it had a spot over here from the factory for a second battery. And it has the other one over there. So that one was easy. Just when I bought it, the second battery was already in it. But this is how I did it. You could put a battery over here and have over there, the other one over there, like a Chevrolet. You just have to run a long hot and a long ground to go hot to hot, ground to ground. And then you'd have to extend your plow wires over to here. A lot of people believe your second battery should be a marina and this one should be standard. I, I don't know. So anyway, you can uh, check that out for yourself. Uh, if you want to use the marina battery, do some research on it. I'm not really sure. But at any rate, I hope that uh, is informational for somebody. It's a plow life. Bye.